What's up everyone, Steven here from techmaker.tv. In this episode, we're gonna fix a hack that we did to make some stuff work with Stimulus Reflex a while back uh, with related to our drag and drop. So we have this drag and drop feature in our uh, blog post section where we can rearrange different sections and so on and so forth. And in the past, this wasn't working well because whenever Stimulus Reflex would re-render the page, um, these uh, action text or tricks uh, text editors were not loading properly. Before we jump in, let's do a quick refresher on what we had previously. So if we go over to our code and we open up our, I think it was the elements reflex maybe? Yes. So we had inserted this at halted equals true, which I had found by just looking through the code base of stimulus reflex and finding out that if you set this instance variable, it would not continue with re-rendering with re the page. So to see the problem in action, let's go ahead and comment this out. And then let's also just really quick, if you're following along in application JS in the last episode, we were, we were working with these um, uh, charts. You'll need to make sure you check if CTX is present in both cases and we'll be doing some refactoring on this. So um, if you're just seeing this for the first time, just don't worry about it. If you're following along, just be sure you add this if CTX. In any case, um, we've commented out our at halted equals true. So let's go over here and let's uh, refresh everything. And now let's show the problem. So if I drag and drop this thing and now I click, now you don't actually have a text editor. Um, and that is the problem we were solving with at halt equals true. So now in Stimulus Reflex 3.3, 3, um, we don't need to do this anymore. So let's get this hooked up. So if we jump back over to our code and we open up the gem file, we can go down to the bottom and see we're on 3.2 right now. And I'm going to make the version exactly 3.3.0 pre2 I believe and then let's go over and stop the server and bundle install and this should just take a second because I've installed it on another app um, let's just really quick yeah so it seems like we're on the right thing there um, let's go ahead and run rails s again and jump back over into our code sorry that's not the code um, let's look over here and instead of using halted true, what we'll do is say morph, which is part of the new morph modes that you can use, say morph nothing. And now let's go try this out. Okay, so if I refresh the page here, let's try this again with our new morph nothing in place. And it looks like everything works exactly how we would expect. So now the real question is, did it save and is it still persistent? And it looks like it is, right? So seems like everything works perfectly well. So that's pretty nice. And what you can essentially see that you can use that for is basically a remote procedure call. So if you want to update something on the back end and you don't want to necessarily update anything on the UI. So in this case, the act of dragging and dropping actually updates the UI, so we don't really need to see anything, um, but we just need it to be persistent. So it essentially works just like we would like, and it doesn't do anything extra, so that's really nice. Another situation where this could be useful is if you're going to update the user interface for many users over Cable Ready, and so by default, me being one of the users, I'm also going to get the update via Cable Ready, I don't really need to send that back to myself via stimulus reflex. So I might do a cable ready broadcast so that everyone receives the update and then just morph nothing because I'm already getting that um, UI update. I'm planning to do a rebuild of my chat application I started a little while back um, when I was just kind of beginning to explore Action Cable and all the different related tools. Now that I've kind of delved into this space and I've learned a lot more and seen what you can do with Cable Ready and Stimulus Reflex and all that sort of stuff, um, I'm probably going to do a pretty big rebuild of that. So if you want to see that and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that so that you don't miss out whenever we publish that. 
Um, beyond that, I just want to say we're doing a lot of work right now that's going to get published on the website soon. So we're going to start uh, putting out some new articles and content over there. I'm working pretty hard to build up a library of full project build outs so you can start and watch, you know, 20 or 30 videos. And at the end of it, you've built out an entire application. So this, what you're looking at here is part of one of those. We're probably going to end up with five or ten of those series over the next, uh, I think we've already got five, so it could be up to ten in the next couple of months. In any case, I hope you're enjoying the content. Thanks for watching up to this point, and uh, I'll talk to you in the next episode.